In Flutter we have model bottom sheet and persistent bottom sheets and model bottom sheets are much more flexible and we want to build first of all this bottom sheet like you can see here and then we want to do some customization about it. In our application we first of all start by creating a new method and this is called show bottom sheet and here inside we can call this show model bottom sheet which is from the Flutter SDK and here inside basically we need to put a context so make sure to put it here inside and then we have here this builder and with this builder we can then put here our individual bottom sheet inside. To later show this bottom sheet we will quickly go here into our app bar, into our actions and here we want to add a button and here we simply call this method show bottom sheet so that we can every time press on it and then we call this method here. And now we can continue here inside we want to show our UI so we start with the column and then we show multiple list tiles under each other so we put here an icon inside the icon of share and we also give it a title and an on tap handler so that we later can also access if we click on this list tile and you can also add here another list tile and now we can simply press here on this icon and show our bottom sheet this is our first bottom sheet and you see we have here our two list tiles showing and like you can see, I have here a lot of space and this is the maximum space what you can get with the bottom sheet, but you can also limit it. So what you can do is you can wrap this here into a container and then you can set your individual height. So for example, you set it to 300 and every time if you hot reload, you need to close this first of all and then start it again. And then you see we have here this new height. Or if you want to have the individual space which our widgets need, and here inside we put this main exercise, main exercise min inside. So let's try this also out. And you see that we get here only the space which our widgets need. And now you probably ask how you can close this again. So one option is to click here. So everywhere in this area here above you can click obviously. And if you want to do it programmatically you have also the option to call here this navigator of context and then you call here this pop method and now we can try this out so if I click right now here this will not have the change reflected right now so again go here and click on this icon and now if I click here on the share button then this should be executed so if I press here bottom sheet was hiding again and with this method you simply can hide the bottom sheet programmatically and now we can also customize our bottom sheet. So by default, a bottom sheet can be dragged down and then it is hiding. So if I drag it down, it will hide. And we can also disable it. We have here this enable drag. And if we set this property to false and then go here inside, I can try to drag it down, but it's not working again because we disabled it. We also have here this option of uh, adding it a dismissible. So by default, if we click here somewhere above it is dismissible so we can click everywhere and it will hide but if we add this false flag right now and hot reload and then click here again and now I try to click here somewhere then this will not hide and also the dragging is not working only if I click now on the share because we have added here the functionality inside and we can also add a shape for our bottom sheet so we can add this rounded rectangle border and right now our line here is straight and we can add here a border radius to 24 for example and then if I hot reload it and then you see that we have here this at the top and also at the bottom so you can change it from all sides or you can also change this circular and make it only for the top displaying and therefore we take here this border radius only and then you can set the top left corner so this is this corner here and we also can set the top right corner and you can also set the other quarters, corners if you want but we want to show only the top corners and now we can try this out so you see we have it now only on the top corner and here at the bottom corner we don't have this round anymore 
And another thing we can change here in this method is also this barrier color. And this is basically the color which is showing here at the top, like you can see. And if you don't like to make it orange, for example, you can also add a opacity so that you see the background through it. And now if we try this new one out, you see that we have here this orange, but it is not like in complete full visibility. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!